Hello, I'm Michael and I'm a librarian at the North Vancouver City Library. Today I'm talking about an award-winning book called The Marrow Thieves by Métis author Cherie Dimaline. This is a young adult dystopian novel set in Northern Ontario. In the world of this moody book, pollution and the effects of global warming have so drastically contaminated the earth that many people have lost the capacity to dream, and this leads to widespread madness. However, First Nations people can dream still, and this makes them the only truly sane group. The white culture, represented by the men in the white coats, determined that the only cure for their madness is to use the marrow of First Nations people. But of course, to harvest this marrow requires them to murder. The book follows the journey of Frenchie, who stumbles across a, a group of other First Nations people who are fleeing the marrow harvesting recruiters. This becomes his chosen family, and their flight from certain death becomes the focus of the story. The book is a dystopian social and historical commentary looking back at the shameful history of residential schools and other colonial abuses while also looking forward to a future of environmental catastrophe. However, the title manages to avoid being bleak, and it's well worth your time. So, check out The Marrow Thieves today at the North Vancouver City Library. It's available as a book, an e-book, and a downloadable audiobook.